What's up everybody? This is DDS and today I'm back. It's gonna talk about some investment stuff today. But I usually drop these videos on Friday. But as you guys know, the new Super 8 Synth from Native Instruments came out. So I decided to drop a video on that yesterday. And plus, I got a new microphone. Hopefully the audio is good. <laughs> I invested a nice amount of money into this microphone because, um, as you guys know, I had a previous microphone that broke. And then when I was listening to the quality of it, I'm like, I really need to step it up if I'm trying to get to that level. Especially when it comes to like doing the podcasting stuff. When I'm recording podcasts to put onto like iTunes or anything like that, of course I'm going to use my microphone, have it plugged into my um, audio interface, and from there record the audio inside of Logic, where I will then, you know, um, edit the audio to make it sound how I want it to sound and everything. But I kind of wanted to have like the on-camera style of microphone because I just enjoy using that, and then the lavalier mic is cool, but I really enjoy using the just having the microphone right on top of the camera where I could just sit back and talk without having to figure out where this is. I can't move too much because you're going to hear the microphone moving and my clothes moving. So I really like this. I invested in it. Hopefully the quality is there. I'm just testing it out right now with this video. So I'm even, I'm just hoping it's recording on top of that because I'll be upset if it didn't record. But anyway, I got that last night. So it was after I already dropped the Super 8 video. But if you guys are interested in checking out Super 8, I'll put a link to Super 8 in the description below and also a link to the video below. But um, yeah, in this video, this is like going to be a new episode of the DDS podcast, dropping it today, which I usually don't. And um, I used to drop them on Fridays, but it's all good. I'm going to have a story coming up for you guys on probably either Monday. It, it'll be in the first few days of the week coming up because I want to share with you guys something that I experienced just by trying to be nice to people <laughs> and trying to like help people grow their own brand or business, all that stuff. I'm going to get into that later. But today I'm going to talk about what I feel like we should have been taught in school and, you know, School is cool. I'm not against school, you know, all that. But I feel like there's something lacking when it comes to the stuff that we are being taught in school. Like, you know, I've been out of high school for going on. It'll be 10 years next year. In 2020, it'll be 10 years. I graduated in 2010. So it'll be 10 years I've been out of high school. And in those 10 years, I've really learned. Well, I guess I should say nine years at this point. Um, so in those nine years that I've been out of high school, I've really learned a lot, learned a lot about self-education, learning things on your own. And it just amazes me, the stuff that I've been able to learn and see how life-changing things could have been had we learned about certain things. And those things are, for me at least, investment, taxes, um, and running a business, like starting your own business. Now, I was lucky enough, or I would say blessed enough to have opportunity in high school to be able to attend University of Michigan Business School, Ross Business School. I attended it. They had a program there where every few months or so you'll be taken out of school. You know, you'll be taken up to the University of Michigan and you will go there and they'll teach you about starting businesses. And, um, you know, it'll, you learn the basic business fundamentals. Now, as a high school student, you know, it's only so much you're going to learn at the time, especially every few months. It's not like it's steady 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 you stand there working but eventually it led to a summer program where you go there for a week or two might have just been one week you stay on the dorms you stay on the campus of u of m and you go to business school every day and you work on building a business you present your plan to the professors and everybody that's there and they will grant you money to start your own business now at that point in time i was doing graphic design i was heavy into photoshop i was 16 years old so i wanted to start a business around that I even had a partner and I don't think we agreed on what the business should be. I don't really remember what happened, but somehow our money ended up getting split up between the two of us to so we could start our own get our own business going. So we got like a PayPal account and things of that nature. But I believe everybody in the program got money to start a business. And that was a great opportunity. I'm grateful for that to this day. I don't even know how I got involved with this program. I think they just reached out. And one day I just was like, oh, I'm going to go see what this is about, like when they were visiting the school. And I believe that that helped me get to the point where I am today when it comes to being an entrepreneur. When, how can I explain it? When I was younger, I didn't really understand everything that I understand now. So looking back, I used to design my space layouts and get paid for it. That was my business. I was 16 years old. I had a PayPal account because I had to set up through the school. So that was able to help fund what I wanted to do. Well, not it wasn't set up through the schools in my name, 
but you know somehow they were able to get it because i know that there were rules and stuff but they were able to get us all paypal accounts where we were able to accept our payments so as a kid here i am generating income from home designing my space layouts for people stuff that only took me you know maybe an hour to do and people loved it and i was making <laughs> generating income from it so i was needless to say i was kind of upset when my space kind of fell apart you know like they changed their layouts and all that stuff and everything just fell apart at that point but you know i still had mixtape covers and all that stuff i could do long story short i just started going to school for graphic design and i just wasn't into it at that point so i just stepped away from it i still had the skills now still use them to this day certain things i do you know like thumbnails for youtube all that i could still go and do um mixtape covers and everything if i really wanted to but i just haven't really gotten into that but it kind of goes hand in hand with my photography and videography because when you're editing videos it's kind of like the same as photoshop because everything works in layers and all of that wonderful stuff so it's kind of all the same but anyway long story well long story short i um graduated from that program did well like you know got the money had my business rolling over time, you know, you go get a job, all that stuff. And then outside of that one program, I don't think we ever talked about starting a business at school stuff, or maybe, you know, they might have one day where they talk about it or have somebody come in that talks about them having um, their own business, but we're not really focused on it. And I feel like these days, if you really want to get ahead in life, you got to have your own something. You have to own something out there that's generating money. There's nothing wrong with having a job. I'm not one of those people that's going to say you should quit your job and it's pointless and that and the other. I have my own personal views on it, but I feel like even if you're working a nine to five, you're going to work every day, you should have something in the background generating income for you that's passive income. Or even if you have something that's active income that you do when you're either off work on the weekends, it's something that can really change your life. I mean, to be real with you, you might find something you could do and you might make an extra four or $500 a month doing that. I know four or $500 a month, if you don't have a job, isn't really much, but if you have your steady income and then on top of that, you can bring in an extra four or 500 a month, let's say 500 a month, that's extra $6,000 a year that you can bring in on the background. That's enough to help you make changes in your life. I, I believe, I mean, on my level, even on my level right now, extra $500 a month, I'll take that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm going to be like, what's $500? Like, I'll take that. So I feel like that's something that should be taught to kids at a younger age. That's something that I'm going to teach my son. I'm going to pass down, I keep looking at my books. I'm going to pass down my books to him as he becomes a teenager and stuff. Say, sit down and read this. You want to learn how to make money, do this. You want to start a business, let's do it. You want to do this, let's do this. You know, anything to help him get ahead because I feel like that's really what's missing. A lot of people, I listen to a lot of financial things every day like when i from the time i wake up to the time i go to sleep i'm listening to different things about finances like i heard a statistic where this guy was breaking down why i believe it was um over 50 percent of millennials don't have 500 dollars liquid and i'm like man that's that's bad i want to make sure that my son knows like this is how you can stack your money and have this so you can do this and do this and people talking about like how cars keep you in debt and all of that stuff and i'm just I study this stuff like I listen to it every day and I think about it all day and I'm like why are they not telling us this stuff in school you know but talking to us about loans and debt and all that like we're learning about no offense to anybody that takes any of these classes this is just my perspective like you know you have your calculus you have all this other stuff that it's like I don't know nothing I don't I haven't, I haven't used this stuff though I think you just need to know your basic math up to algebra maybe some geometry but not necessarily but you know the basic math so you can get out there school's good if you're trying to do a specialist thing like if you want to be a doctor you need to go to school if you want to be a lawyer you need to go to school things of that nature yes but for the general people like somebody got a master's degree and they're a librarian it's like you spent all that money all that time and you're your master's study wasn't in, in, to be a librarian. I know everybody's situation ain't the same, but that's just my views on it. And I feel like schools could be teaching us life skills to help us, you know, be able to take care of ourselves and understand how we can come ahead. Now, I also saw a video where they say that they don't want that to happen. Like when I say they, I'll let you figure out who they are. I'm, I have no specifics when I say they. It's just the people in control. So they don't. They don't want school is to be teaching kids these things because it will change the dynamic of everything some people say school is built for you to become an employee and not an employer i mean i don't know i have my own views on it like i said but i forgot the point that i was making sorry if i'm ranting this is just me 
you know, talking to the camera. But I really feel like we should be talking about all that stuff. Like one thing that I learned on my own was how to invest in stocks. Whenever I asked someone about it, it was always a, like a scary type thing. Oh, no, you don't want to go to the stock market or it's just a simple I don't know. So for me, learning on my own was about reading books, reading articles, playing like investing games on the phone, playing with the paper trades, whatever, and just going through and learning how to do this stuff. And like I said in one of my previous videos when it came to investing, right now my portfolio is over 85% return. So for every dollar I put in there, I got 85 cents. So <laughs> that $1 turns into $1.85 and this is over the course of two years. I've only been in the stock market since February 2007. So two years and going on three months, two years, probably two years and three months right now. So I've been in the stock market that long. Not saying it's always going to be that way. It's ups and downs. But my point is, if I go up to 85% and it drops down 50%, I'm still 35% up than I was to have my money sitting in the bank account where it's not making me any money. So long term, my goal is to continue to buy stocks, buy stocks that I believe in and dividend stocks, things of that nature. So that way I can generate wealth. This stuff wasn't taught to me in school, even at a college level. I mean, I guess if I would have went to school for finance, it would have, but I didn't go to school for finance. So I feel like this stuff should be stuff that's taught to us, like it's coming up because we value things, we value stuff that doesn't help us. Like the microphone I bought for my camera was $300. That same $300, I could have bought a pair of shoes. I could have, I could have did so many things with that $300, but I invested it back into my business because I knew that it's a part of my it's a part of my business, it's part of how I make my money, it's part of how I live. So I need to take that investment and put it in there. Now, I could, like I said, could have bought some shoes. I, I had the same shoes I've been wearing for the past two years. I said, people probably see them shoes and think that I'm a bum. I probably had them shoes longer than two years. People see them shoes probably think, think I'm a bum, but they're the most comfortable shoes I ever wore. So I don't really care about that. I don't care about clothes, none of that. So it's like for me, I want to keep investing in stocks. I want to keep buying things that's going to increase value. It's going to help. Like even down to break it back down to this camera, like I bought some, another part to my camera that adds value to the camera, which adds value to the business, which adds value to my whole overall goal of being wealthy and being able to leave something behind for my family behind me and, you know, help change the stuff that so we ain't got to live, be the people that's living, you know, struggling. You know, I don't I don't want to do that at all. I want to be able to be the example of do this, do this. I'm going to leave a blueprint. You do this, you do this, you do this, you do this. You should be good. Now, of course, I know things could change. I'm not a stock expert, but I also wanted to express in this video the stocks that have doubled my money or more than doubled my money. Majority of the time, they more than double my money in these cases. I believe it's only, I think it's three, it might be only two instances where I made double my money in the stock. So I'm going to talk about that as well. So I'm going to pull my phone out so I can let you guys know. I know one off the top of my head, <clears throat> and that is Amazon. Amazon has more than doubled my money. I bought Amazon when it was $800, and now it's at $1,900. So I, I'm, I'm doing really well on Amazon. Uh, another one that I had that I'm sick that I messed up on was Shopify. I, I bought some shares of Shopify when it was under $100, I think when I first bought Shopify, it was maybe about 50, 50 or so dollars. I think it could have been up to 70, but it was some 50, 70 range when I first bought shares of Shopify. I had a lot of them. I, I was just testing out like, oh, let me test this. Here's a company, you know, they're tech, they're doing this, they're doing that. And I was at 250. So that doubled my money in that case. So no matter how much money you put in there, you would have more than doubled your money. Same thing with Netflix. I bought Netflix when it was around $150. Now it's over $300. It's doubling money. So even if I was working at a job, I could have continuously put money in, put money in, put money in, put money in every so often as long as your priorities are together. And I believe that goes back to how we're trained to, you know, do things. Like I was reading somebody's comment on the video and they were talking about how their car note was like $800 a month and then people were like bro $800 a month is crazy he was like no nah, I can afford $800 a month but I'm not judging that person at all either I want to put that out there but it's like man if you was putting $800 a month and <laughs> investing it man you would have been good you know in different in different things like you know even when the stocks go down you should they say you should buy more so that way you're buying stuff on sale and it's gonna go back up in value so that's pretty much it. Like, 
I think I'm gonna do more deep dive videos on this stock stuff from my perspective. Once again, I'm not an expert. I'm not telling you to go buy Shopify. I'm not telling you to go buy Amazon. I'm not telling you to buy Netflix. I'm just telling you what I made with the stocks I chose that doubled my money. So this this video right here is very valuable to me because as somebody that is truly passionate about this, and this kind of ties into what I said I was gonna talk about in a separate video, I wanna be able to help pass this knowledge on to other people, like I said, my son, you know, I wanted to be able to look back and be like, look, man, it's all you gotta do, you know, read these books, learn about this stuff. Like there's tons of things to the stock market other than buying and holding. There's people that day trade, I don't day trade. Um, there's people that do options, there's people that do bonds, there's people that just do index funds, people that do mutual funds. I'm just somebody who likes to pick and hold my stocks because I'm thinking in the long term. Now, again, you could day trade and make a whole lot of money every day. You know, if you invest in something, you know, if you're willing to throw in a few thousand dollars, you can make a few hundred dollars a day or you could lose a few hundred dollars a day. But that's just the risk you take with this stuff. But again, I feel like this is something that should have been taught to us. Like, why did I learn this on my own at the age of two years ago? I was 24. So at the age of 24, going on 25, why is it that I just learned about this stuff? You know, shout out to YouTube, Dr. Boyce Watkins, everybody that talks about investing on YouTube. Because I, I subscribe to so many people, I don't even be knowing some of their names. I be going to different videos. But Dr. Boyce Watkins was the first video i saw that showed how to actually buy a stock and i literally was like oh he used td ameritrade let me look on their website let me see the terms let me see all this stuff okay i'm about to sign up with this and start doing that then i heard of this thing called robin hood where you don't have to pay to make trades so i got on robin hood again if you are interested in starting to invest and you haven't already I have a robin hood link in the description below where you and i will both get a free stock i received a few free stock from people on the previous videos and that's been free money especially since the stock went up <laughs> since it's been um there so they got free money i got free money but i just want to be able to help give back and like i was saying before like i met some people who um are like-minded and that's great but i'm gonna have a whole story behind that though i want to be around like-minded people who are interested in doing this stuff like i'm possibly going to talk to some kids in the next few weeks, I believe. About about two or three weeks, possibly. It's not guaranteed yet, but it they'll probably wanna talk about music and stuff, but I think I'm gonna flip it into multiple streams of income, which is another thing they'll teach us about in school. <laughs> so that's another thing they tell us to go, go to school, study, go to college, graduate, go get a job, and then you live your life. But that's another thing I'm gonna to touch on in a different video is um, the multiple streams of income. And when I talk to those kids, I'm going to record it so I can upload that. But like I said, I believe they're gonna be more on the entertainment thing, but I will tell them both, like, you know, you do the entertainment, you find multiple streams of income, and you make it happen like that. But anyway, y'all, about to get out of here. Appreciate y'all. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this video. Hopefully y'all enjoy me actually doing these videos. These don't do as good as my beat videos, unfortunately. It's kind of like I was looking at Vlad TV. And then his Vlad Stocks videos only had like <laughs> 10, 15, 25, maybe even 30,000 views. But the interview where somebody say something else get like millions of views. And it's like, bro, he explaining how to buy your stocks and stuff and all that. But ain't nobody paying attention to that. But, you know, somebody will watch this. And I feel like somebody will get something out of it. So that's why I do this. Motivate, inspire the others behind me or other people. But, yeah, I believe if we do this. We'll be good. <laughs> Start being financial. Um, what is it? Financial lit, financially literate. Start reading up on finances. Start studying finances. Listening to things about finances. And you will eventually get an understanding of how to get your finances in order. So, and mine's ain't even in order. Like, I'm not, I'm not acting like I'm a millionaire. That's the one thing about doing these videos. Somebody said that I should make a course about the stocks and stuff. But I feel like. Some people be like, oh, man, you ain't made, you ain't got a million dollars in the stock. So how you going to talk? But I've made 82% in return. So you don't know how much money that is. I might only put $100 in there and I made $82. Might have put 100000 in there and made 82000 <laughs> So you never know. And that's just one portfolio, too. I have multiple pro portfolios. So, yeah. Anyway, I appreciate y'all. I hope you all have a wonderful day. If you're interested in finding out more information about 
stocks and stuff let me know in the comments below i'll continue to do these videos maybe once a week maybe that's what i my thing would be once a week is something that has to do with finances and you know, like real life stuff um if you're interested in starting robin hood click the link below you'll get a free stock i'll get a free stock i don't know what stock it will be you know i've heard people getting facebook stock which is i want to say around 200 dollars right now i've heard some people say they've got an apple stock we'll both be blessed if they give us both amazon stock though we'll be blessed <laughs> but anyway i appreciate y'all hope you all have a wonderful day i'm out